All right, against the odds time, playing some Stuffy Doll action here in Modern. Got the Pariahs. So if we can uh, scrying some lands and Stuffy Dolls. So let's see. Mountain, go. See what we're up against. This might have been an ambitious keep to keep the one land scry land. Mm, guessing this might be Scape Shift. I don't know anymore. Land? Another bolt. All right, we just got to ship the turn. Hopefully we draw some lands. Serum Visions. Bottom top. Ships the turn. Come on, land. All right, Sacred Foundry is good. Let's go untap Sacred Foundry into Core Firewalker. See if this resolves. Remand. All right. Another Serum Visions. Might be the card our opponent left on top. Double bottom. Our opponent has a Misty. Let's go with Core Firewalker. Another Remand. All right, Clifftop Retreat, pass the turn. Stomping Grounds, well, this still could be a version of Escape Shift. Yeah, let's just try Core Firewalker again. Gonna Snapcaster or Remand. Well, I think we're getting close to running our opponent out of counter spells, hopefully. And we'll bolt the Snapcaster. That is annoying. Three Remands so far. Also no land destruction. Yeah, this is Escape Shift. Double Secure Tribe Elder, and we might just be dead now, honestly. Untap Stomping Ground, and, well, we <laughs> opponent had all remands in Secure Tribe Elders. Well, there's a Plains. All right, let's play Core Firewalker. Play Pariah on Core Firewalker. Doesn't really keep us alive, though, because of the way, unless our opponent messes up the triggers, which is possible. Saxon Elder. Saxon Elder. Because Valica isn't red, so even though it looks red, as far as Core of Firewalker is concerned, it doesn't count as a red source. If we had a Stuffy Doll, that would be, this combo would be really good. And maybe our opponent just doesn't have it, that's also possible. Can't, uh, Volcano Helion isn't too exciting at the moment. Get in with Core Firewalker, let's cast our Boros Reckoner, gain a life. Is that the fourth remand? All right, only third. Still, well, I guess that's the fourth time we've been hit by Remand. If our opponent ever draws into a scape shift, we're probably just dead. Most definitely just dead. Anticipate, looking for the scape shift. They find it. They're going to cryptic us. Well, let's bolt our opponent's face, gain a life. Yeah, and I guess we can path. Let's try to path the core firewalker. Get another land. If they have a scape shift, none of this matters anyway. Oh, uh, get a planes. Looks like they found it. Tapping out for no reason, and scape shift. All right. Um, sideboard wise, blood moons are pretty sweet. Timely seems decent, and nothing else seems especially relevant. All right, game two, and we'll try it. Got a little bit of life gain, and core fire walker should help. Valica, that's also not bad because we can ghost quarter that. All right, sacred foundry untapped. Get down our core fire walker. We even got the Stuffy Doll Volcano Helion combo, if we can get enough mana to fire it off. Should be hard for our opponent to deal with Core Firewalker. Elder, I guess that is sort of a way to deal with it. Well, let's attack with Core Firewalker. Opponent's probably gonna block and sack. Yup, block, sack, skips a basic. And we're gonna take advantage of our opponent being tapped out and Helix our opponent's face. So we gain four altogether. And then also bolt our opponent's face, gain another life. So our opponent's down to 12. We're up to 23, which is good. And we got the stuffy doll in our back pocket. Anticipate, stomping grounds, untap, down to 10. Timely. All right, ghost quarter. Let's attack with our core firewalker. And we'll just pass, we can't really do anything here. Timely doesn't do anything. Obstinate Bayloth. Let's see if we draw land to get this stuffy doll down. Pariah. Well, let's play Volcano Helion. Gains us a life. Would have been awesome to be able to play stuffy doll there, but we get to, we do four to ourselves, kill the Bayloth, get to keep attacking with Core Firewalker. Would have been interesting to try to go lower to timely, but that seems a little risky. Fulminator Mage would be a sweet one to find. Ooh, our opponent did not hit a land drop. That's good news. So we lose our Volcano Helion. Clifftop Retreat, let's attack with our core Firewalker. Put our opponent to seven. Try to cast our Stuffy Doll. Wouldn't be surprised if this got hit by Cryptic. Yup. Cryptic Command, counter draw. We do have our opponent to seven though, which is the good news. 
Opponent finds land. It's a rag tusk. Gains our opponent a bunch of life. Come on, Stuffy Doll. Ooh, another Ghost Quarter. Can't do much of anything yet. Let's hit the Valakut with Ghost Quarter. Play Ghost Quarter. Ship the turn. Search for Tomorrow's. Finds another land. Still getting pretty close to just dying to a scape shift, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, let's block the Thrag Tusk. Well, there's a Stuffy Dial. Does it resolve? And does our opponent just scape shift us to death? Oh, we're so close. If we can get the Pry on the Stuffy Dial, get the combo. But it's also possible we just die here to a scape shift. It's also possible our opponent just draws another Valakut. Eh, that doesn't even really do it because they could play the Valica. They're going to electrolyze us to 18. Probably means we're dead this turn. There's the Valica. That means we're dead. Yep. Unfortunate. Alright, against odds, stuffy doll time. And, uh Some sweet things, but only one land. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, we'll try it. Really depends on what our opponent's on. Path. We're not going to keep Path here. Didn't I just put Path to the bottom? Oh my goodness. I swear, Moto. I swear when you stride to the bottom that the card is likely to be on top of your library again. Actually, that's not true. I actually, I used to think that, but I am just uh, thinking wrongly because I actually tested it one time in single player games just to see. Made a deck that was all scry cards and it did not happen more often than it was supposed to. So it just feels like it happens more often than it's supposed to. Ugh. Well... Kind of in rough shape now, missing on the lands. Is this blue-red Delver? Looks like. Well, I guess we can try to Helix that. Spell Pierce would wreck us. Spell Snare also. Pretty good. Vapor Snake is not what I was worried about, but I guess that also does it. Alright, window's open. We need to draw a land. Land? Alright. Sweet. So now we get to play our Boros Reckoner. Pretty good on D and does something, even if our opponent kills it. Swift Spear. So this does look like Blue Red Delver. Gonna probe, see our <laughs> jankiest of jank hand. Unfortunately, our opponent's playing all basics, which is making our Fulminator Mage a little sad. Are they gonna kill Reckoner? They are. And that resolves first, so we just have to hit our opponent's face, so we get hit for three. Combo is off the table at the moment. Land? Oh, we would have drawn it too. Well, do we save this for... Well, we got Blasphemous Act for the combo. I guess we just play this Volcano Helion and kill the Swift Spear. I don't think we're going to go all the way down to 4 life, though, to keep Helion alive. Seems risky. So I think we just pay 1, 2, play 3 in case our opponent has a spell. Hard to imagine them having 2 instants with 1 blue mana. I want to see something. Can I type in here? Oh, I can. Man, someday we're going to deal... 10,000 damage to an opponent. But for now, we'll settle with three. <laughs> oh, that's going to be the sweetest thing. I can't wait to do that. That's going to make, no matter how many times we lose, when we deal 10,000 damage with Stuffy Dell or Boros Reckoner plus Volcano Helion, that is going to make it all worth it. We need a we need a Pariah on the Boros Reckoner or Stuffy Dell. Abbott. Another Abbott? Ooh, Pyromancer. This is a draw where we really want... Yeah, we're not, we can't pay 14. A core firewalker would be sweet. Fulminator, Mountain, go. Can't believe our opponent has zero basics. Zero basics. Or non-basics. Tons of basics. Origins, Origins, BFC. Bolts are Fulminator. Well, the question... We can't even sack it to kill anything. The question's going to be, can they counter our Blasphemous Act? Well, this was a mulligan and then a subpar draw. Oh, there's a fetch. Well, oh, we can't even, we can't even cast it. All right, we got to go try Stuffy Dell first. Got a remand or a leak? Ooh, all right. Now we're in business. We, I think we might get the combo kill after all. If we live one more turn, and we can resolve this Blasphemous Act and kill our opponent, assuming they really don't have a counter. Stuffy Dell. Oh! Uh, so are we dead? Three, four, five, six. We're dead to a bolt. We're not dead to a non-burn spell. All right, down to two. Do you have a counter? Man, it would be so sweet if we could have our Boros Reckoners and such out before this, but 
We can't live another turn without casting this. Our opponent hasn't been playing lands. What do they have in hand? More creatures? Hopefully they're not slow rolling us with a... Oh. <laughs> sure. Uh, noxious, noxious Revival. Yup. Alright, well that, uh, that explains it. Doesn't seem like a good Blood Moon matchup. Probably you want these Timelies, though, seem decent. They have Vapor Snags, which means I... Th well, actually, Fulminator seems epically bad. So maybe we leave the Priyas, even though they have Vapor Snags? Alright, game two against Blue Red Delver, and... Well, that's nice. And Core Firewalker is actually a part of the combo, because it lets us gain life. Because we want to be one life ahead of our opponent when we do that. Uh, I don't think we can keep that, because we don't actually have the mana to cast Boros Reckoner yet. It's one of the downsides. I think it's worth playing Ghost Quarters, but one of the downsides. Alright, Sacred Foundry, untapped, Core Firewalker. How are you going to beat that, Delver player? Well, actually, we know they have Vapor Snags, but... Oh, we're going to do it! Our opponent's on one mount... Oh, two mountains. Alright, we still might do it. We get to attack with Core Firewalker, put our opponent to 18. Sacred Foundry, untapped, puts us to 16. Boros Reckoner... Puts us back up to 17. Might get the, the Volcano Helion kill. <laughs> Our opponent might be able to burn out the Boros Reckoner, though. Yeah, they can. They saw it coming. We gain a life. Hit our opponent for three. So, no turn four kill. Shivan Reef. So there are non-basics. Firewalker is sweet because it survives Blasphemous Act as well. Bolt. Alright, Ghost Quarter. Attack with Core Firewalker. Shh. Ship the turn. Leave up our path and our bolt. Core Firewalker is just a good card in this matchup anyway. Especially when it comes down on turn two on the play and it's hard to counter. Another Core Firewalker? Well, let's get in with this one. And we will try to resolve another one. That is not what the red deck wants to see. Remand. I'm tempted to Ghost Quarter ourselves. I think I'm going to, actually. Let's Ghost Quarter ourselves. Get another, get a planes and recast it. I don't know how our opponent beats Double Firewalker, in all honesty. Now even if they have a Vapor Snag, it only gets rid of one. <laughs> the whole one damage Lightning Bolt! Because <laughs> we gained two from uh, the Firewalkers. Yup. Oh, okay. We were already lower on life, that makes sense. We gained two up to twenty, then lost three. Mishra's Bobble? Spicy. Opponent draws a card from the Bobble. Another Ghost Quarter. Well, let's attack with our Firewalkers. Puts our opponent down to six, and pretty much have them dead last next turn with the bolt. They just haven't, they mulliganed and just haven't been able to do anything. Swift Spear, <laughs> gains us two life. Oh, if you're playing a red deck, Core Firewalker is the most depressing card to be across the table from. Like, everything you do, especially two of them, everything you do is just neutered to the extreme. And this isn't as bad as, bad as Mono Red, which, ooh, has a hard time dealing with it. At least this deck can... <laughs> oh, another one damage Lightning Bolt. I guess it's two damage, because it gets the prowess on the Swift Spear. But this just isn't a way our, oppo our opponent's going to be able to win the game. Uh, yeah, let's just Bolt. Our opponent probably scoops it up. We can pay for Spell Pierce. I guess they could have Dispel. They do, <laughs> they do have Dispel. Alright. Well, technically that keeps them alive for another turn. Unless we draw another Burn Spell or something. Um, yep, let's attack with both. These are the situations where Boros Reckoner is pretty devastating. Because what do you do? You can't burn it, because then it kills you. You also can't block it, but you can't not block it. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Uh, alright, we're gonna run it back. Oh boy. Alright, we'll try it. We're on the draw, we got a scry land. Got a path to kill something. Actually, we got two scry lands. Bottom and top, and probe. Alright. Oh no. Not another land. Uh, we'll keep Reckoner. Flooded Strand. Steam Vents. Abbott. Revealing. Probe. wonder if our opponent's gonna probe. They're all- if they do, they're all the way down to 13. But it draws them a card. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I guess you gotta. Well, we are just going to path this Abbott. Play another Temple. Uh, we'll keep another path. Young Pyromancer. Looks like they are not going to play a spell. Which I think means we are just going to play a tap land pass. When our opponent goes to crack this flooded strand, if they do, we're gonna path. 
Yeah, so let's uh, path right now. Hopefully they don't have the Dispel. Oh, Vapor Snag? Well, that's not as bad as Dispel. Our opponent doesn't get the land, and they're going to have to spend part of their next turn recasting it if they want to. We could win just by drawing a string of burn spells, in all honesty. Feels bad to play Boros Reckoner into a remand, especially with the young Pyromancer on the battlefield. There's young Pyromancer. Bolt. Blasphemous Act. Let's go with Boros Reckoner. I'm definitely expecting this to get hit by remand. Yep, gets our opponent another token. The good news is if they keep making tokens, we might be able to steal a game by Boros Reckoner plus Blasphemous Act, if we can run them out of counters. Get hit for 4, down to 15. Another young Pyromancer. Well, let's try again. Boros Reckoner, Deprive? Hmm. The problem now is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're still a mana short from casting this Blasphemous Act. So if our opponent has another counter spell, especially a hard counter, then we're going to get wrecked next turn and actually lose. Swift Spear, Serum Visions, make some more tokens. Well, we're going to have the whole one mana Blasphemous Act here. If our opponent has another Deprive, Leak doesn't matter, Remand doesn't really matter. I guess it's Deprive that we're scared of, but that doesn't seem like a card you can play that many of. I guess it's possible they could kill us now? We could also draw another Boros Reckoner and just win. Cracks it. Alright, we're taking a ton of damage. Down to four. Opponent draws. Ghost Quarter. Alright, well, we just have to go with Blasphemous Act. And I guess a Plains. We have kind of flooded out here. They get a Burn Spell. Yep, down to one. We are probably just dead. Yep. I don't know why our opponent didn't just burn us out. But, alright, alright. Against odds, trying to stuff some people in modern. Oh, man. Everyone's playing blue. Oh, merfolk? Alright. Well, we'll see how this goes. We got their, uh, their muta vaults covered. Ooh, and there's Mr. Stuffy. I think our best bet in this one is just to kill all their stuff. We do have 12 cheap removal spells with 4 helix, 4 bolt, 4 path. Whoa. Well, that's not very good against our deck because... We are playing zero fetches in an effort to stay ahead on life. Ooh, I like Boros Reckoner. Alright, let's just pass for now. Hopefully try to Helix something. Curse Catcher? Sure. Um, uh, probably got a Helix a Lord. Another Curse Catcher. Jeez. Tax with both. No Lord, which is good. Well, I guess we'll just go with our Boros Reckoner here. Play some decent defense. Vapor Snag? Yep. Alright. Well, our opponent's down to two cards, which is the good news. Well, now three. Hopefully they have another land. Another Aether Vial, that's even worse than a land. Do they still have no lords? What do they have, just Vapor Snags and... Vapor Snags? Aether Vials? <laughs> well, let's do it again. Boros Reckoner, Sacred Foundry tapped. Ship the turn. They got another Snag? I wouldn't be surprised. Phantasmal Image on our Boros Reckoner. And a Vapor Snag. And a Dismember. All right. Well, our opponent is officially out of cards. And if they draw a lord, suddenly things get really bad. So we're going to take six down to eight, assuming they don't have a lord. If they have a lord, then we just lose. All right, no lord. Ooh, a path is good. Let's play... Let's play Ghost Quarter. Play our Fulminator Mage. Ship the turn. Another island. All right, so let's uh, throw a path at that Phantasmal Image Boros Reckoner. Make him sacrifice it. Ghost Quarter. Let's just play another Fulminator Mage. I guess we can attack with one. And this leaves up Lightning Helix. They can pay, like, counter it with Curse Catchers, but they'd have to sack both of them. This looks like the Lord. Yep. Regery. Goes to attacks. So let's Lightning Helix on the Regery. Then kill a Curse Catcher. Well, let's just, since we're out of other things... Let's just play our Stuffy Dow. Choose our opponent. We're going to attack with both, and we might be able to get the Volcano Helion kill next turn. Opponent's down to 10. They can't really attack us. If they have a Vapor Snag or a Counter, it ruins our plan. Otherwise, I think we get to pull off the combo. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's this? Two Mana Lord? Silver Girl Adept draws a card. That's not especially relevant. Another Island. We might. We might have it. We might have it. 
the combo. I would love our opponent to go empty-handed, just so we know we don't have to worry about Vapor Snag or a counter, but it looks like they're not going to oblige. Clifftop Retreat. Well, let's attack with both Fulminators, see if our opponent blocks. They block one. I think we got it. Maybe. Puts our opponent to eight. Volcano Helion. <laughs> yes, yes, we're going to do it. Does it resolve? It does. We deal... <laughs> 8 damage to Stuffy Dow. And go to 1. And <laughs> they have the Dismember, but I don't think it matters because the trigger's on the stack. Yes! <laughs> the combo! Oh, Volcano Helion coming through. Oh, so it was a dismember they were holding. Uh, Merfolk, eh? Jeez, we do not have much for Merfolk. Timely? Like, if they can just island walk through us, what do we do? Well, Fulminator isn't... <sighs> hmm. Fulminator does get Mutavolt. Well, let's get rid of that. Bring in Timely's. Could bring in Pithing Needles on... Hmm. Huh. On Ether Vial, go down the Spite Mare and a Pariah since they have bounce spells. Um, yeah, I mean we got the combo. They have there's the Ether Vial, Sacred Foundry, tapped. We have all of our combo pieces. Guess it depends on how much interaction they have. Silver Gill Adept, Revealing Curse Catcher, which they can put in with the Ether Vial. Well, we're drawing interaction, which is good. Let's play Core Firewalker. Pass the turn. There's Curse Catcher. Seems like a decent matchup just because we can bolt and path these type of things. Probably are not going to block you. Well, we'll know for sure now. Double Master. Yeah, no blocks here. But they're down to two cards. No blocks. We get to play a land. Oh, man. Uh, we get to... Let's uh, bolt the first one. Bolt a Master. Gain a life. And then path a Master. Then we'll just pass the turn play defense. For now could use some lands for our combo we even got the pariah for the combo all right dismembers core firewalker sure we might be able if things go well we could pull off the the 10,000 damage which is the ultimate goal of everything lord of atlantis hits us for five do they have counters or lords and do we draw land well there's a land all right step one boros reckoner Hopefully it resolves. Temple of Triumph, Scry. It will keep the land so we can play Stuffy to L if we need to. No dismembers, no bounce, no lords. Is this another lord? Whoa. Oh my goodness. That's even better than a lord. Three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Clifftop Retreat. Uh, Volcano Helion doesn't do it here. So I think what we need to do is play a Pariah on our Boros Reckoner. So all damage that's dealt to us will go to Boros Reckoner, and then we can ship it on to something else. Ether Vial, not relevant. So we're going to attack for three, which is just enough to kill Boros Reckoner. Then we get to kill the Lord of Atlantis. Ghost Quarter, oh, it's not going to do it. Volcano Helion can kill something, but then we still die. So close. All right, run it back. All right, game three against Merfolk. Come on, let's do it. Got one removal spell, got a scry land, and a timely to hopefully buy us some time. Temple of Triumph, do not want the mountain here. So we scry to the bottom. Hopefully it's not that same mountain again. Island, no ether vial for once. Still got the ether vial. And again, same mountain. Oh, my lord, Moto. Oh, Moto. Ugh, I can't help but thinking that something's wrong with that. Even though, like, I know in one player mode it doesn't happen, because I tested it, like I said, but... Jeez! Our opponent kept one land Ether Vial? Alright, well, you will just keep drawing. That means our opponent has a ton of action. Probably a million and a half lords. And Silver Girl Adepts. Silver Girl Adept. Wow, they're gonna have to discard, though. So that's something. Discards a Regery. I guess we just play a mountain and pass. What I'd like to do is take a hit from the Silvergill and then play Timely, most likely. I guess we could also play Stuffy Dow. If this is a Lord, we will kill it. 
Yep, there's a Lord. I think we're going to bolt because we don't really want to give our opponent another land right now. Well, I think Timely is actually more important at the moment than Stuffy Doll, so we're going to go with Timely here. Gain a bunch of life, get a bunch of 1 1s. Still have two removal spells in hand, which is nice. There's an island. Spreading seas, alright. Draws our opponent a card, gives them an island. And Lord of Atlantis. Might be able to get a nice blowout here, though. Yep. Alright. So we get to bolt the Lord of Atlantis, then trade one third of a timely with this Silver Gill Adept. Another stuffy dial. Well, we're gonna attack this time with our tokens. Play a mountain and slam Mr. Stuff. Choose our opponent, of course. Alright. Well, we might be getting there. We might actually win this match. Mural Regery, okay. Well, let's play Temple of Triumph. Well, another stuffy dial. Let's play a. Well, actually, yeah. Let's play a stuffy dial. Choosing our opponent. Let's. Path the Regery. And I think we just shipped the turn. Start pinging with stuffy dolls at some point. Tidebinder, alright. They need Island Walk to be able to start getting through. And they also need us not to draw a Blasphemous Act. Another Spreading Seas draws a card. They got an Island Walk Lord. We've gotten through some of them. There's the Lord of Atlantis. And a Tidebinder. Alright, so they get to start attacking. I, maybe I should not have kept that third stuffy doll and tried to hit something that actually won us the game. That might have been a mistake. So we get to deal one to our opponent. Play the third stuffy doll. So we get to ping for three a turn, but what we really need is like a blasphemous act or something. Because they have these island walk guys that we can't deal with. Another vile, not relevant. Hopefully they can't also give the lord island walk. Ugh. Alright. We're going to need to draw it this turn. Blasphemous Act. We're down to 10. Ping our opponent. Ping our opponent. Come on, Blasphemous Act. Core Firewalker. Not really relevant. 3, 6, that does it. Oh, so close. Alright, I'm going to draw one card. If we had scribed to the bottom. Alright, Boros Reckoner. Wouldn't have done it. Alright, against Odd Stuffy Doll in Modern. Oh my lord! <laughs> That's uh, the old 4 Volcano Helion hand. Uh, so it's basically a Mull to 3, so I think we got a Mull. Because we can't even really play those. This hand is very dependent on us finding lands. If we can just go land, 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 Boros Reckoner, Stuffy Doll, Blasphemous Act. Then we win. Ooh, that's... Temple Garden's a good one. It's the second land that might let us find our third land for Boros Reckoner. What are we up against? Oh no. Someone's taking advantage of their... Their last days. The bannings have not yet went into effect on Magic Online. They go into effect Wednesday. Uh, this is a Monday, currently, that I'm recording this match. Oh, never mind. Lotus... Maybe they're trying to play a post-banning version with Lotus Bloom. Alright, Temple of Triumph. Can we find another land? Path to Exile. I think we gotta put it to the bottom here. Summer Bloom, ticking down. Uh, it suspends for three turns, so two turns from now. And then it's a Black Lotus once it hits the battlefield. Temple of Deceit. Alright, so maybe this is the Ad Nauseum deck, which means we might just die when that. So we could basically die at any time. Another Bolt. Not exciting. Alright, ship the turn. We can't really do anything. I don't think it's worth ghost quartering. If we get to the point where we're going to die, we might ghost quarter to try to see how many basics they have, or if they have any basics. That would be good to know for the future. So basically this deck, they need an Ad Nauseum, they need an Angel's Grace or Phyrexian Unlife, and they need enough mana to cast them both in the same turn. Let's see what we draw here. If we draw land, we might ghost quarter. Let's ghost quarter. At least we get to mess with their scry. We can't do anything else. We get to get a peek, see if they have... They do have a basic planes. Play another Ghost Quarter, pass the turn. There's Lotus Bloom. So they have all the mana they need. There's Angel's Grace. Uh, let's Ghost Quarter. Still trying to figure out just how many basics they have. Are they playing just the one? Possibly. Or they might have just chosen not to search. 
And there's the lightning storm. That's how we die. So we're just going to scoop it up. We don't really got to see any more than this. We know they have the spear guides in their deck. Uh, Pything Needle can help with the wind condition. Rule of Law, Blood Moons, Wear Tear. Probably go down Fulminator Mage. Go down a Blasphemous Act and Spite Mare. Well, Stony Silence is helpful. That does slow down their mana quite a bit. So let's just start on Temple of Triumph. Uh, we'll put Mountain to the bottom for now. Temple of Deceit for our opponent. There's Lotus Bloom, double Lotus Bloom. Well, the good news is they need to get rid of our Stony Silence before they can use that mana. They do have bounce spells usually after board. Well, if we can find a creature to get Pariah on, that's another pretty nice little combo against this deck. I guess lands at some point will be helpful. All right, Cliff Rap, retreat, ship the turn. Lotus Blooms are coming down next turn, I believe. Sleight of Hand, Prism. Well, I guess we can just wear that right now. Lightning Bolt, not too exciting. Ship the turn. Well, do they have a bounce spell for our Stony Silence? If they do, then we pretty much lose. So right now, our opponent can't sack them, but if they get rid of our Stony Silence, then they can. It's the danger of only having one piece of hate. Prism, all right, that's not it. Come on, big draw. Temple of Triumph, no, a tap land is not what we wanted. All right, Sacred Foundry to the bottom. Because if we get Stuffy Doll Pariah, that also, that also does it. All right, no bounce spell yet. Another land, another Lotus Bloom. Well, they definitely don't have enough cards for the whole combo. So let's play a Stuffy Doll. Choose our opponent. All right. Man, so close. All right, let's 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 make it one more turn. If we get the Pariah on the Stuffy Doll, then they need to remove the Stuffy Doll and the Stony Silence before they can kill us. We can't tap our Stuffy Doll right now, but that's all right. Boros Reckoner. All right, let's, uh, let's go with Pariah on Stuffy Doll. Do we get it? Our opponent probably has Pact of Negation in their deck. I think they're reading to understand exactly how this works. All right, ship the turn. Now our opponent needs two to bounce two different things. They got to get rid of the Pryon Stuffy Doll and the Stony Silence to be able to win. Another Lotus Bloom. Well, let's go with Boros Reckoner. And now we could get the combo kill if we just draw our Volcano Helion. Ship the turn. Also, if we resolved um, Blasphemous Act, we would do 26 damage. Do we have enough hate? <laughs> we pulled off the Pryas Stuffy now. Question is, if we draw Volcano Helion, we actually get to do the 10,000 damage, which would be so sweet. Another land. All right, let's... Lightning Helix, our opponent's face. Not Volcano Helion. All right, attack with Boros Reckoner. And we can't tap our Stuffy Doll because of Stony Silence. Stony Silence is losing some of its utility since they're going to have enough mana that they could potentially just combo us off even without it, or even without using their artifacts. But let's play a second Stuffy Doll, choose our opponent, play the Ghost Quarter, pass the turn! Alright, Lotus Bloom still counting down. <laughs> our clock isn't too fast, we need a way to deal damage to our Stuffy Dolls and Boros Reckoners. Come on, one time, Volcano Helion, for the win. They go with Angel's Grace. Okay, they can't lose. I don't think they can kill us here. Pact of Negation. So our opponent's going to draw their entire deck, but I don't know if that is good enough in this situation. Haven't seen any mana Morphos yet. I don't know how else they're going to get the blue mana. I guess they have a land drop? Oh. Oh, they cast Angel's Grace. Play this to kill the Stony Silence. That's going to do it. Then this frees up the mana. They can play a repeal. Or they don't even need to. That kills uh, the Praia as well. Oh, we had the setup. We just couldn't find couldn't find it. Alright, against the odds, Stuffy Doll. Will we finally pull off something cool with this deck? Getting down to the nitty gritty. Mountain Go. Razor Verge Thicket. Ogles. Alright. Now let's play Temple of Triumph. Uh, I think we need more impactful cards than Core Firewalker right now. 
Our best bet might be to get a pariah on a stuffy doll, if we can find a stuffy doll. That might be good enough in game one. Hyena Umbra gives our opponent's Bogle first strike. Ranker, so it has Trample. Our opponent probably does have Path, so too, which means this isn't a guaranteed way of winning. Well, Clifftop Retreat and Boros Reckoner. Ship the turn. So we can put the Praia on the Boros Reckoner, but I'm not sure that's really good enough at this current point. Daybreak Coronet. First Strike, Lifelink, Trapel, Vigilance. Well, I guess we attack with Boros Reckoner. Play a Mountain, pass the turn. That Lifelink is going to be really hard for us to race, though. Draws a card with the Horizon Canopy. Plays another one. Gets in for seven. Well, let's... Oh man, that even shuts down Pariah. Helix, Helix. And we are one mana short from Blasphemous Act. Yep, it costs six mana. Well, let's put Pry on our Boros Reckoner. Still loses to a path. Pass the turn. Cracks Rising Canopy. Temple Garden, tapped. Spider Umbra which will keep the Bogle alive through... Uh, yep, so now we're just dead. Hit our opponent for 8. They can redirect a Spell Skite if they want. They do. Helix. I guess Helix could maybe keep us alive if our opponent has nothing. Well, it looks like we get to live one more turn. Problem is, with that Spider Umbra, we can't even Wrath the board. They have the Hyena Umber too, I guess. So this is a losing battle. Doesn't feel like a very good matchup for us. Spirit Dancer. And yep, Path doesn't help. That does it. Oh, Modern. Well, we get a Wear Tear. That is the extent of our interaction, basically. All right, play first. Can we even keep this? I don't think so. Well, that's questionable. We get a Mountain on top. I guess that's helpful. Our opponent has a Ley Line of Sanctity which is going to make it even harder for us to pull this off. Actually, Stuffy Doll doesn't target, I don't believe. There's the Bogle. Mountain, go. So basically, you want to get a Stuffy Doll with a Praia and hope our opponent doesn't have Path. That's probably our best bet of somehow winning. Ranker. So our opponent kept one Forest. Leyline, Bogle. Interesting. Land. All right. Well, we might get the Stuffy Doll down with the Pariah. Then we'll just have to see if our opponent has paths. We do get to play this Fulminator Mage, which might keep them from attacking with Slippery Bogle for a second. Oh, we will 100% block here. Wow. Well, we take a damage, but we actually get the Bogle off the table. So that's something. They have another play? Glade Cover Scout. All right. Ooh, Spite Mare's kind of sweet. Although, that does target, so it's not a uh, very good against the Ley Line. We need the Stuffy Dial, really. But it does let us race a little bit. Opponent gets the land. Ranker. Hyena Umbra. I guess we gotta let it go. Hope we draw land for our Stuffy Dial. Down to 12. Come on. Land for Stuffy Dial. Fulminator Mage. Not exactly what we wanted. Now it's probably gonna be too slow, honestly. Another Fulminator. Ship the turn. Yeah, we needed the land there to have much of a shot in this one. We needed Stuffy Doll into Pariah. And that's not a guaranteed win, but it is at least a chance of winning. Opponent tanks for a while, thinking maybe they wanted to cast uh, some free spell. They path our Fulminator? Does that mean their path flooded? They drew another land. Hyena Umbra. All right, we're down to seven. Another Glade Cover Scout. They got one card. Is it a path? If not, we might steal this game against Bogles. We got the Stuffy Doll down. We choose our opponent. Ship the turn. So we got a shot. If our opponent doesn't have a path, we have a path to victory. That was bad. All right, come on. Come on, one time. Let us win for once. And we can 
Black would Spite Mirror redirect to Stuffy Dow, which redirects to our opponent. <laughs> nice little chain reaction. Come on, no path. Ranker. Alright, I don't think that kills us. I think we live. Tax with both. So we're going to block both on the bigger one. Alright, Spite Mare redirects to Stuffy Doll. Stuffy Doll deals one to our opponent, and then three to our opponent. What's her last card? Oh, we're, we're down to three, but we're alive. They pass. And amazingly enough, we get the Praia on our Stuffy Doll. Amazingly enough, <laughs> we can get around the ley line by throwing our burn spells at the Stuffy Doll. We are still, like, they draw a path and we lose. We're one path away from losing. But our opponent can't attack us until they find a path or a way to kill the Praia. Land? All right, land isn't it. Well, let's, uh, let's Lightning Helix the Stuffy Doll. <laughs> I did not realize this was a way to get around Ley Line of Sanctity. And Lightning Bolt the Stuffy Doll. Our opponent's down to five. A burn spell wins us the game. Blasphemous act. Our opponent not realizing what's happening and attacking. So many things win us the game. We might actually steal this win. Oh man. This would make it all... We could do the 10,000 damage. Yes! Yes, we did it! We finally got there. We got there. Volcano Helion. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it would never happen. Come on, opponent, don't scoop. Let us do it. Let us do it, please. <laughs> oh, we did it. We actually got it. Oh. So, Volcano Helion <laughs> deals X damage to a creature of our choice and X damage to us. So we can choose, I think in Magic Online, we can choose up to 10,000. So it would deal 10,000 damage to Stuffy Doll and to us. Then it would do 20,000 damage to our opponent through the Stuffy Doll. Because the damage goes to us would go to Stuffy Doll plus the damage to Stuffy Doll. Oh, man. Oh, we did it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Whew. I didn't think it was ever going to happen. <laughs> oh... Oh, our opponent's going to let us do it? Alright. Stuffy Dow. One, zero, zero, zero. Oh, it only lets us do 200? I typed 10,000. <laughs> oh, man. That's disappointing. It was supposed to be 10,000 damage, and it only let me do 200. You saw me. You can see it on the video. Uh, all right, we did it. <laughs> we did it. I'm pretty sure we're going to end there because I'm expecting we just get crushed uh, in this game three against Bogles, but we pulled it off. Oh, man. Whew, it took a lot of losing this week, but we did it. Oh, so what did we learn this week? Well, the combo is really sweet when it happens, but it doesn't happen very frequently at all. We... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, one... Four out of a million games, it feels like. So, Stuffy Doll is is not very well positioned in Modern. It dies to Path to Exile. It costs five mana, and it's a 0-1 that on its own pings for one damage each turn and pretty much shuts down the ground. The problem is, it dies to Path to Exile. It dies to Dark Blast uh, in rare situations. It dies to Dismember. So there are some commonly played removal spells that get around the indestructibility. And it makes us play weird cards in our deck to make it good. Blasphemous Act isn't really a great card. Uh, neither is Volcano Helion. So it is. this is definitely not a competitive combo. I really like the idea that you can go Boros Reckoner on turn three into Volcano Helion on turn four and just win the game like Splinter Twin combo but it is much harder to pull off than you would imagine like you don't get the flash aspect of it like in Splinter Twin so it is it is really hard to make it work so I'm glad we tested this one 
I did have fun playing the deck. It got a little tedious towards the end where I felt like we were just getting crushed by all these like unfair goldfishy combo decks that we just really didn't have a way to interact with. Uh, and so it was fun to play, but it just isn't very well positioned. And I'm not sure what you could really do to make it better positioned. Uh, it just, it's a hard card to build around and make it competitive. So if you want to mess around with it for fun, I say go ahead and do it. But I wouldn't even feel comfortable bringing this one to like an FNM or something. The odds are just really weighted against you. I would say we won uh, by the numbers less than 20% of the games we played. And most of those weren't because of uh, Stuffy Doll itself. It's because we just happened to draw like enough burn spells and removal that we could kind of tempo our opponent out of the game. So anyway, it was fun, but not very competitive. That's the final verdict on Stuffy Doll in Modern. Anyway, make sure to check out the website, mtggoldfish.com. We have decks, prices, metagame strategy. Uh, that's where you'll find the article for this against the odds. But no voting this week, no against the odds poll, because we have a long-awaited special edition for next week, now that Oath of the Gate Watch is officially out on Magic Online. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click the subscribe button that's about to pop up on the bottom of your screen. Anyway, thank you all for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Stuffy Doll and Modern, and I will talk to you soon.